What is up, everybody? I'm Viviki Chicken. You're watching Contenders Wednesdays, USC Wednesdays here on Tag Bro TV. It's February 25th, 2015, and we've got a Southern Tier 2X Stout here. The Milk Stout. It's not a stout brewed with milk. That's a stout with lactose. Milk sugars. Also, my, uh, my Pittsburgh. Well, you can't really see it. It's Pittsburgh City Paper. Green little bottle opener. There you go. Stout filled with lactose. With some, uh, with some milk sugars. There we go. Let's, let's pour this guy here. Dangerously over my computer. Oh, it doesn't look amazing. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at that port. Oh, that was a much better port than last week. Last week's port was pretty bad. Oh, man. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right. No, I didn't do the rap yet, Dan, so I'm about to... So, so, uh, so before we start here, we're going to be on... Uh, we're gonna be on Wormy, by the way. Uh, before we get underway, uh, we've got we've got a little bit of a special, a little bit of a special event here. So let's let's turn down the volume on the music here. We're gonna we're gonna turn down the volume on this music here. All right, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pump the beats a little bit. We've got some trash talk here from uh, from Dance TP. From Dan's TP, we're gonna we're gonna have some fun with this. So let's uh, let's do this. This is this is this is what's happening right now. I'm gonna fuck this up so bad. Here we go. The title matches today. Expect both of these sweets. First the worst from Sweer. Well, how Sweer's running down their cheek. You'll be squirmy on Wormy. Our line up is straight as scary. You tag pro virgins will get fucked. There'll be red hot chili pop cherries. Next to wash up off ass club. Hope they're ready to get smothered. Exquisite wishes he could edit CSVs like his brother. Chalks to Jesus sidewalk and Spiller's days of fame have passed. And y'all said hello, which grief was here to bot and save their ass. Aw, oh, dance, you're mean. That's how we, that's how we, uh, that's how we roll here. You know, we're a uh, straight hood or something. Yes. <laughs> All right, that's what we're doing. Uh, everyone's just about ready. They're waiting for us here in the stream, so we're gonna we're gonna try and get into this game here. Turn our regular music back up. Oh man. <laughs> Oh god, I just did that. <laughs> uh, we'll drink to that, I guess. Uh, how does the match format work? It's just uh, one, uh, just two halves, regular two halves. <laughs> All right, um, I have to change this real quick, and then we're ready to go. Here. So we should be getting into this game pretty soon. Everyone's actually just waiting on me, so sorry about that, guys. Alright, so uh, I'm ready. We should be getting into this game pretty much right now. Uh, this is going to be on Wormy. This is going to be between our number one and number two teams in U.S. contenders, our Red Hot Chili Peppers and Dallas Ballers Club. Now, Dallas Ballers Club just destroyed Red Hot Chili Poppers. That was on uh, Iron. That was not. That was on Iron last week. Uh, a little bit of a different map for sure. Uh, so we'll see if uh, if Wormy will fare any better for Red Hot Chili Poppers as we get into our game. Let's, let's get it on. Oh yeah, by the way, one other thing that I have to talk about. Oh man, Telestrator's back in town. Can I get an oh uh, Yes. That's 
That's what we like to see for that telestrator action. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. The arrows still look a little bit derpy, but that's okay! Telestrator hype. Aw, oh, man, I'm so happy about that. Let's actually watch the game, though. Uh, got Infinity in here, which I'm pretty happy to see. I haven't seen Infinity in a really long time. I don't remember him being around last week. I don't think. So, uh, so, uh, good to see him. Uh, always love Infinity. He's an old school guy. One of my favorite people in Tag Pro. One of my favorite people in Tag Pro. The BBQ please coming out from Jack Panther. Let's see if Infinity can get a cap here. No, not quite. Infinity, we've got a, we've got a lot of history having fun with Infinity on Tag Pro TV. He's had some rough games on Tag Pro TV, but uh, he's had some good ones too, and it's always fun to have him on. Uh, as Alt Altiger trying to get the first score on the board here for the Dallas Ballers Club, but Holsey with a nice grab at the end, managing to get out. Now we're gonna be boosting around the outside. He's in a little bit on the back foot here, and Infinity gonna be dancing around those. Simon gonna be able to get the boost, he will. Uh, Infinity, I'm, I'm gonna keep calling him Sleepy8. It's not quite, not quite the uh, the right the right name here. It's Infinity. It says Sleepy8, but it's Infinity. Um, so one of the things I always like to look at now that I have the uh, now that I have the Telestrator here is oh that's the wrong thing. Uh, this little area right here captures all of your defense. Like you wanna these are like the two key defensive areas, right? You want them to go all the way. I'm just finding excuses all the way around the outside here. A long way around, and this is also a very tight area. So as long as you can control here and not let them come inside, uh, then you're gonna be do a pretty good job not letting everybody get in front of you. I just think that's a really cool little architectural feature of Wormy, one of my favorite maps, one of everybody's favorite maps, I think. So uh, I I don't know who Adele Dazim is. Uh, let me see. That's uh, that's a Dallas Ballers Club. If we look in the Dallas Ballers Club mumble over here, let's see who they are. So I don't know who that is, to be totally honest with you. It's the U.S. Contenders, Dallas Ballers Club. Uh, looks like that's uh, potentially ball. Uh, oh wait, are my colors wrong? Oh shit, my colors are wrong. My logos are wrong. We're on the wrong teams. Oh jeez, I've got everything all mixed up. Oh my goodness. Oh, what am I doing? We're gonna... Let's... What am I even doing? What am I even doing? Let's wait for some downtime, and then we will get the logos right. Uh, you know, this seems like as good a time as any. Uh, well wait, let's see if Holsey can cap for the, uh, the Dallas Ballers Club. Not the Red Hot Chili Puppies. Let's just go right now, very, very quickly. Alright, now we're back. We have the right logos now, so there we go. Confusingly, the Dallas Ballers Club is a club logo is blue, even though they are the red team. So, uh, hey, whoops. Yeah, the logo's pretty sweet, by the way, both of them. I do like them, so good job, Dance. So, uh, looks like we're gonna have a sub here for our blue Red Hot Chili Poppers. Uh, some problems here. So, who's in, the, who's in the Red Hot Chili Poppers? Who's in the Red Hot Chili Poppers? Mumble here. Uh... I think that is Penis Blocks. Pretty sure that's Penis Blocks. He was playing before. That's my guess. What's up, E, by the way? Good to see you here. All oh, the hype! Thank you, everybody, so far for watching. Oh my god, we've got like 44 viewers already. Fantastic. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I appreciate it. Sleepy8 and Mr. Ugh, Mr. Infinity here. I've already got the hiccups from my beard. Already got hiccups from my beard, though. He's gonna be making a little roam around. Oh, whoa! What just happened? Oh, um, it's a timeout. You know what happens with a timeout on USC Wednesdays? I don't think we're getting DDoS. The lag's been fine. I think just one person in particular is having problems. Uh, what? What? Yeah, it's a. Uh, Oh, it's you kill him. Okay, okay. So I'm not quite sure what the pause was for. Uh, to be honest. Oh yeah, um, I don't know. Uh, he, is there a chat room in the mumble?
Uh, yeah, if there is a chat room in Mumble, they were talking about making a chat room in Mumble before. Um, if there is, uh, hopefully everybody can kind of join it. Actually, I'm just gonna make one. I'm just gonna make one under, uh, U.S. Contenders. Uh, USC Wednesday's chat room. Okay. So, in, uh, in Mumble, there is under U.S. Contenders... A USC Wednesdays chat room if people want to talk. I just made it. What's up, Penguin? How you doing? Alright, we should be getting back in shortly. Should be getting back in shortly. Do I want water? No, I want more beer. This is delicious as fuck. They did call subs. I wasn't sure if it was just a lag or what's going on. Alt uh, Altager had a family thing? Something, something IRL with Altager, I think. Uh, so we're loading back into the game. We should get back in here. Uh, thank you guys for being patient. Uh, we will get back in this game shortly. Still 0-0, zero, zero, six minutes left here on Wormy. As we get... Right back into our game. There we go. Uh, so, uh, double juke jukes uh, on the top and right, and our bottom Three, is going to be a two, rolling bomb. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Go. All right, so back in this game, we have Knoblord with a rolling bomb, uh, managing to not use it yet, but does uh, does get the defuse from Altager. Knoblord and Holsey going to be on offense with the Dallas Ballers Club, Ballstar and Luke Moo going to be on defense in this rematch. By the way, uh, if, uh, if Dallas Ballers Club win this, then the next game will be our third straight Dallas Ballers Club title match on USC Wednesdays, because we ended last week with this same match of Dallas Ballers Club versus Red Hot Chili Poppers as Holsey manages to get the uh, the flag out here for Dallas Ballers Club. Oh, what a thread of the needle from Halsey. Fantastic. Cavs going to be one another here for the Dallas Ballers Club. They did win last week. Very hefty on iron. This is a much closer map. Let's see if Noblord can make anything happen here. He's around the back side. He can't quite get the blocks, though. That being said, we have a grab from Halsey. Uh, Infinity does manage to get out for the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Wow, I didn't even know you could link to mobile channels. That's awesome. That's really freaking cool. Uh, Adele Dazim, who is Ooh Kill Him, does manage to get out of the base. There's a little swerving here for him. Uh, gonna get taken care of, but Simon has the re-grab for Red Hot Chili Poppers. Holsey in a decent position, although Altager is on the re-grab. And Holsey not gonna be able to stay alive in that very tiny, wormy base. Uh, Altager caught in a corner a little bit, can't quite get the corner around Ballstar, but Infinity does have a regrab here. No regrab here as of yet for the Dallas Ballers Club. Infinity can't really make anything happen. I don't know how much he's been playing, to be honest. I don't know if he's going to be rusty at all. Uh, he was at one time one of the very good offensive players. Uh, I, I would have probably put Infinity at, like, not a top tier, but, like, a tier 2 offensive player. Uh, a couple seasons ago in MLTP, he was very, very good. Uh, he, I'd imagine he's still very, very good. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what goes from him. I'm not sure how much he's been playing. I haven't seen him around too often. Holsey making some nice moves around Simon using the terrain, those spikes effectively. He's going to get his second cap here uh, off a very nice block here in base. I think that was Ballstar throwing the block. I wasn't really looking. Two to nothing here for the Dallas Ballers Club. Stream keeps freezing, Jukebox Hero. I am very sorry. I am not dropping any frames, so unfortunately that's your end. Let me know if you're having any more trouble. Um, if other people are having trouble, let me know, and I will restart the stream at 30 FPS. Right now I'm at 60. But if there are people having internet problems, I'll reset the stream so everybody can watch it. That is that is always my goal, is for everybody. Now, a nice move there from, from Infinity. I told you, dude, he's good. He is very good. Uh, Brown Coats mod, plus with those flares, not quite working out. Got a reset here. Knobboard with a good grab ahead of three. It's going to be up to all the jerseys in really good position fighting off two blocks. Got in front. Uh, it's maybe a situation if you can coordinate. It's a little hard to coordinate that block to separate and get the guy on the backside. But then again, you don't want him to grab. So difficult situation. Really just very good positioning from Altager covering the front of that base. 
Uh, Holsey looking for a hat trick, however. Let's see if he can make something happen with his tactical lead from Noblord. Altiger does manage to get out in time, but Noblord gets a triple kill, and that's gonna oh get Holsey. I thought I was gonna do the zoom. There we go. Ah, oh, we got the hat. Whoa, look, he's got a hat. Holsey's got a hat for his hat trick. Oh my god, that's amazing. Look at that hat. Look at that hat hype right there. Look at that hat hype. Oh, it doesn't follow like that. Okay, well listen, the hat hype's real. Uh, <laughs> three to nothing here for the Dallas Ballers Club. So far reprising their victory over Red Hot Chili Poppers from last week, but Altiger's got something to say about it. He's got some blocks from Killam and Simon. Nice little bomb uh, cap, and it's gonna be three to one now for the Dallas Ballers Club. Red Hot Chili Poppers by no means out of this game just yet. We're fighting over power-ups here in the middle. Two minutes left to go. It's going to be a rolling ball. Ballstar manages to actually keep it, surprisingly. Although, ooh, kill him in good position on the flag to come out. Now, Ballstar is going to be able to get the grab. A uh, decent opportunity here, although Altager is attack prone base. Great suicides from his defenders. Going to get Ballstar the fourth cap of the game for the Dallas Ballers Club. 4-1 to one the score as of right now over the Red Hot Chili Poppers. Great team play from the Dallas Ballers Club defense. It can be hard to get those little suicides to line up, but they did it very excellently. Holsey can't quite get out of base on the Red Hot Chili Poppers side. Going to leave us still at a reset position. Nobody with the flag so far. Nobler tries to get a grab, can't quite get it, although he leaves a decent handoff for Holsey, which is a little bit behind, didn't quite give him enough time. Now Holsey's gonna have to try and work his way out of base. Nobler with the boost, I don't know if he expected to do it, but it did give Holsey a little bit more room to work. He can't quite get around Simon though. Uh, defense going to be, uh, not terribly out of position. Gonna be hard for Nobloid to actually make something happen with this, although Simon can just get greedy and try for the boost instead of simply, uh, you know, blocking off that path, which is what I would have liked to see him do. That's just my style of defense, though. I tend to play a very conservative style. Altiger is gonna get a second cap. Maybe, yes, he will, 4-2 to for the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Still a two-cap game here in the first half with 35 seconds left to play Infinity out of base for the Red Hot Chili Poppers. Can't quite make the move on Luke Moo using his Juke Juice to nice avail. Killam does have to waste his Rolling Bomb and Ballstar will follow up. 23 seconds left here for Red Hot Chili Poppers to make this a one cap game. Unfortunately, the spike getting in the way of their grab that time. Uh, Infinity with a really nice move on the wall from Ballstar. We, I think Infinity's warming up a little bit. He's made some really, really uh, nice little nice little jukes, nice little du double moves here. The double move's been very strong for Infinity. That's probably gonna be the last chance for the Red Hot Chili Poppers, and it's going to be indeed four to two here on USC Wednesdays on Tag Pro TV. Between the Red Hot Chili Pepper Poppers, trailing by two caps to the Dallas Bowers Club. Uh, I got the score backwards. How about that? I got the score backwards. There we go. Okay. Yeah, those logos, if, Dance, if you made both those logos, like, good on you, because those logos are awesome. Good job on them. I like you, how you use the uh, the Mavericks logo for the Dallas Ballers Club. So that's, uh, that's nice. That's nice. All right, so I think we're going to be changing groups here. I think we're going to be changing servers, I believe. Yes, we have the group link. I uh, I didn't. I, I think I didn't. Did I not change the? I don't even remember. I need to make sure that I have the logos correct this time because I feel like they haven't been right. I feel like they haven't been right. Yep. Uh, we're already. Yeah, we're already. Uh, we've already got the entirety of Dallas Ballers Club here, and most of the uh, most of Red Hot Chili Poppers. So we should be starting this game uh, shortly. Uh, that good luck have fun. I like your name. You're my favorite name. Always always looking for the positive vibe here. Always looking for the positive vibe here in Tag Pro TV, so I like good luck have fun as a name. That's very nice. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna have um, the the Dallas Ballers Club on blue to start us off here on our new server. 
as we're still waiting for the maj uh, well we have most of we have most of the chili poppers in the group they just haven't joined the game yet oh nice uh, nice yeah we like we like positive we like positive stuff here speaking of positive things my rating for the southern tier 2x here let's let's share the label again let's let's get some uh, you know shout out to southern tier every single southern tier beer i have had has been fantastic so uh, there you go southern tier 2x stout get it at your local bottle shop wherever you live it's fantastic it's available all year round i believe i don't think it's a limited release so you should be able to find it not terribly expensive either some stouts well, some stouts can get a little ridiculous well stouts aren't too bad i think this one was three bucks i don't know not terrible for a really good beer gotta say you can get much more expensive beer than this one. A plus. Still waiting on Red Hot Chili Poppers in group. Uh, they We have two in game, and everyone's in the group. They just haven't joined. I think they're trying to... I think Altiger's having some real life, some like IRL issues. That's why we had to sub out or something. I, I want to say that's probably the issue right now that we're waiting on. So uh, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry about that. Infinity Pliss. <laughs> oh man, I love you, Infinity. You, you're the best. I'm really happy you're back, dude. Really happy you're back, dude. Uh, so, again, still very sorry. Still waiting on Red Hot Chili Poppers. Uh, we're we're waiting a long time here. This is much longer than our uh, our halftime normally goes. I'm sorry about the wait. Um, uh, Altiger is in game now. It looks like we're waiting on infin Infinity. Get in the game, fool! <laughs> we're waiting on Infinity. He's here chatting. Oh god damn! All right, here we go. All right, we have loaded into this game now on Wormy, so just a few seconds and we will be uh, at the start. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the map here. Take a look at the map here. Three, two, one. So it's going to be three juke juices, the triple juke juice. I mean, you know, if you're gonna start, we might as well be egalitarian. Galatarian. Do I like BBQ chicken, BBQ chicken? Of course I do. That's where I got the name from. We're not in the middle of the game. I'll tell the story. I've told the story a lot, but I'll tell the story. Not right now, though, as we're watching Noblord split kill him and penis blocks. Can't quite make the second move. Not quite. Not quite. We are in our nice little reset state. Tantra with a really nice little flashy juke around the outside. Let's see if we can zoom in a little more here. That's... That's more like it. That's that's much more like it. I like that. Uh, so uh, about 15 seconds or so until our power-ups are going to spawn. Now we're going to try and get a last second grab before that happens. Looks like we're going to mostly just see a power-up fight coming up shortly as Killam spikes himself. Very, very well done, Killam. That's what we like to see. Uh, Dallas Ballers Club Ball Star gonna get double, uh, double rolling bomb, you know, for what that works. That's a rolling bomb that the other team doesn't have, so there we go. Tantru, uh, going to be trying to make something happen here. Let's follow him and see what happens. I always like following our flag carriers. But we do have a re-grab here from Ball Star. Gonna get to the corner, taken care of by you, kill him. Nice job covering that boost in the corner. Re-grab here from Altager as Holsey makes a great move around penis blocks, even passes. Ooh, kill him, although he's going to be forced to retreat here as, uh, going to be forced to retreat here as there are enemies in base. There are chili poppers in base. Guys, we need more chili poppers puns. 
We're running short on the Chili Poppers pun supply. We haven't even made one today. Oh my goodness, that's split by Halsey. Gonna leave a room open for Altiger though, as the defense recovered very nicely. Nobelord gets popped, and Altiger gonna try and make something happen. Great move on Ballstar, gonna get a nice two on one block. And it's gonna be three to four now for the Red Hot Chili Poppers, bringing this game back. Only a one cap difference with about eight minutes left to play. Still anybody's game here on Tag Pro TV between the Red Hot Chili Poppers and the Dallas Ballers Club. Tantru in base for the Red Hot Chili Peppers as well. I, I said Tantru in base. I meant Tag Pro in base. But but Tantru had a Tag Pro. So there was a Tan... Get it? There was a Tantru in base. I got it. I, I got it. Nailed it. Nailed it. The Blue Hot Chili Poppers. I get it. I see what you're doing there. Uh, Altiger out of base. This could be the game-tying cap, although he does have three Dallas Ballers in front of him. Tantru, uh, no, not quite. Yeah, all right, that, there's a new, I don't know if I like that pun. We, we need something a little bit more. We're, see, now Altiger with the only one with the flag as like the lonely view as the only flag carrier. Uh, 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 why don't I just play Tantru's mom in the background? That's a fantastic idea, Ozern. If you link it to me, maybe we'll play it. No guarantees, but you know, maybe, oh my god, wait, the, the timing there, I missed it. I was reading chat and I missed it, it's a tied game here. The comeback is real, especially like Dallas Ballers Club, if you guys weren't watching last week, they destroyed Red Hot Chili, I mean, they, they killed them. They were like, ooh, kill them, they killed them on Monarch, I mean, it were, or on, uh, on Iron, it was not even close. But, uh... But here we're seeing the Red Hot Chili Poppers stay right with him, and they've got a lot of momentum now as Altiger gets the, uh, tried to get the re-grab in, but couldn't quite make it happen. I'm gonna copy-paste that link right now, Oster, and we're gonna be playing it later, I think. I think that's a, I think that's a reasonable request. I think that's a reasonable request. I'll see what I can do about it. I'll talk to my producers and see what happens. Because I totally have producers. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Altiger grabbing a tag pro on top. We'll see who wins are on bottom. The the top power up. We might actually be able to win it there. <laughs> we won it there for the Red Hot Chili Poppers who were losing that fight with the tag pro. Just a double tag pro. So uh, the only man with the power up right now is Altiger. I'm uh, gonna try and make something happen here. Two kills right now, but not really any teammates in base. And the flag pro goes flaccid for Altiger, whose tag pro is now worn out. About halfway through the second half, we are tied here, four to four between the Red Hot Chili Poppers and the Dallas Ballers Club. Posey, the man with the hat trick last uh, last half. We'll see if he can make anything happen here for the Dallas Ballers Club. Indeed, he does a fantastic split between uh, Ooh Killam and Penis Plocks. He has two on two blocks, but now the entirety of Red Hot Chili Poppers in base, and no re grab here because of power ups. For Dallas Ballers Club, squandering that momentum a little bit, and Noblord, unfortunately, because of his tag pro, does not see that spawn happening. Probably going to be a little salty about that one. Holsey does have a rolling bomb. That is a dangerous combination, especially with the tag pro lead from Noblord. Let's see what Holsey can make happen with his buddy Noblord leading the way for him. Tantru does manage to get out of the backside of base. Are they going to be able to catch him? Not immediately. He's going to be able to kiss. Noblord with a regrab. Altiger with a regrab on the other side for the Red Hot Chili Poppers. Noblord can't quite sneak in that little top alleyway. And Penis Box will be the one with the regrab for the Red Hot Chili Poppers. Handing off to Tantru, who's going to have a really hard time here getting around Ballstar and Mr. Gone. No such good grabs to be found here. Holsey is in a little bit of trouble. Maybe able to make something happen. He's got moves. The bomb not quite working out for Penis Plox, but uh, Ooh Killam does manage to stay with Holsey. Not an easy feat, I would have to say. <laughs> Holsey is pretty good, says Magic Johnson. I know, right? He's uh, he's pretty damn good, I do have to say. Although Altiger right now is free in base, if they can get a, a return right away, not quite gonna happen though. Altiger looking pretty comfortable though, I have to say. Noblord in a tough position. And Altiger actually gets sniped. I'm surprised that they weren't more aggressive. But then again, I tend to be really impatient when it looks like we may have a cap, so uh, I'm no one to judge the play here from the Dallas Ballers Club. Or the, uh, the Red Hot Chili Poppers. 
Tantru looks like he's going to have... Oh, I thought he was going to get around the corner. If he got around the corner, that was a, a uh, lead-taking cap there for the Red Hot Chili Poppers. Now it's Altitude's turn, but he gets sniped in the middle by a ball star. As we remain tied 4-4, four to four. now I will remind you guys, the Red Hot Chili Poppers are the challengers. So on a tie, it means that the Dallas Ballers Club maintain their title, and uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers get literally nothing because they're already number two. Already number there. There is a corner there, says Krosky. The man in charge. By the way, everybody gives some, some shout outs to Krosky, the guy in charge of organizing USC Wednesdays. All I do is stream. Thank Krosky for putting it together. Oh, his idea. The guy's awesome. Uh, Ballstar can't quite get the snipe on Tantru, but uh, Mr. Gun, that was like a smackdown. That was like. That was like if you're playing, I don't know, some kind of fighting game or something, the guy's on the floor and you just like come down and like punch him while he's down, like drop kicking or something. Like that's what that, that like point blank snipe with the tag pro is. That was just a drop kick. That was violent. That was like, if you, that was like, that was like a clockwork orange. That was, that was the ultra violence. That was the ultra violence with a little Ludwig van. Oh man. Bringing out, bringing out the Kubrick references. That's right, because we have, we have, uh, what's what's the word I'm looking for here on Tag Pro TV? We have a variety of references at our disposal here, up to and including Kubrick movies. Tantru uh, misses. Uh, the snipe misses from Knob Lord, uh, but Tantru's going to be in a little bit of trouble. Not going to be easy for him to stay alive, and indeed he got, does get taken care of. Mr. Gone in a decent position for Dallas Ballers Club ahead of everybody, but Ballstar is not going to be able to get this return on Altager anytime soon. Who, granted, is stuck on his side of the base, but uh, almost like a couple pixels away from a perfect boost. Altager is still somehow around right now, and is this gonna be a last second comeback here for the Red Hot Chili Poppers? Three in base for Dallas Ballers Club, and it looks like Mr. Gaunt's gonna be able to get out. Also, Jerry, you're not out of the woods yet. However, we do get a return for the for the Red Hot Chili Poppers. Knob Lord is cornered. Altager makes Halsey Spike himself a decent chance here for Altager. The regrab here comes from Mr. Gone. Mr. Gone gets taken care of. We have blocks, and the Red Hot Chili Peppers make the comeback. They were down 4-2 to two at the beginning of this game. They got absolutely destroyed last week, but they are now up 5-4 to four here in this game with 30 seconds left, looking to retake the number one position in U.S. contenders. This is for all the marbles, ladies and gentlemen. The Red Hot Chili Poppers. Showing they are not to be taken for granted, but now Lord does have a rolling bomb and a grudge. Looks like he might be able to get this cap as long as he can get it cleanly. Altager can't quite make the cap size happen. It's now 5-5, five to five, a huge cap for now, Lord. If this score maintains with only 8 seconds left, it will maintain the number one standing for Dallas Ballers Club. Knob Lord for MVP, everybody. The fantastic clutch last second cap to maintain the title belt for the Dallas Ballers Club. What an ending. What a match here. Much better than last week's for sure. GG's to both the Dallas Ballers Club and the Red Hot Chili Peppers. What an ending here on Wormy. Hope we see them again. Oh my goodness. Whew, that that ending, man, that game, that game. Those are the kind of games we hope to see here on Wednesday Night Contenders. My goodness. All right, so the way this is going to work for people who are new to Wednesday Night Contenders. By the way, if you are new to Wednesday Night Contenders just watching this, if you're new to Tag Pro TV, you want to hit that follow button. We do MLTP, we do sometimes Tag Pro for breakfast, where I just from some pubs. All sorts of fun things happen. You can hit that follow button. You'll always know when I'm live. Uh, so what's going to happen now is I am going to throw out my overlay and turn off my mic. We are going to get set for our next game, which is going to be another title belt match. It's going to be uh, the Dallas Ballers Club again, so we're not done with them against Cap Got Your Tongue. That's going to be with Exquisite Spiller, Jesus Choxy, Sidewalk, Yossarian, and Helen Keller. A, uh, a selection from those players. Cap Got Your Tongue have, I believe, won before on uh, Wednesday Night Contenders. Should be a very, very fantastic match. So stick around. We're going to be right back here on, uh, on Wednesday Night Contenders here on Tag Pro TV. We'll be right back with uh, Dallas Ballers Club versus Cap Got Your Tongue. Stick right there.
And that was very fast. Let me just tree post this thing here. Where's my old tree post from before? We're gonna copy paste this shit. Oh, whatever. Let's send a tree post here. Uh, Sorry guys, just uh, making this tree post here. Almost, almost done here with this thing. There we go. All right, so we should be uh, ready to go shortly. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. Choxy's peeing. Silly, silly little rat quarter of no. I guess that means we're gonna have some more beer then. As we have, by the way, a uh, a second a second title a second title match here. Uh, e, you wanna uh, you wanna post that mumble link again for everybody? Well, we're waiting for Choxy to pee. You wanna post that mumble link to uh, to our chat room? It doesn't look like anybody's in it right now. Here we go. Alright, I'll do it. Alright. Tunge. <laughs> oh my god, it's not tongue, it's tunge. Okay. So it looks like Chalksy's back. We should be getting into the game momentarily. So we got some new viewers. By the way, once again, thank you everybody for watching. I know uh, every person who's watching, I know that you could be doing a million other things and watching a billion other streams on Twitch. And I am certainly very, very happy that you decided to choose Tag Pro TV. It means a lot to me. And to every streamer, by the way. Like no one's no one's gonna be discounting you. Always means a lot to have viewers who think that your stream is interesting. Now, what is not interesting is we're going to be on Star. I shouldn't say not interesting. Star can be a cool map. I ac honestly haven't seen competitive Star in a in a very long time, to be perfectly honest. Three, two. Oh, one. that's not right. Ah, uh, today I fucked up. It's okay. It's okay. Here we go. I gotta get that fixed. Okay. So, here on Star, gonna be the first. I, I have not seen competitive Star in a very long time. I'm not quite sure how it plays out these days. It doesn't really get. Sh Maybe I have seen competitive Star and I just forgot. Oh my god. Well, there we go. Oh, that's right. I saw it. I saw like a, someone get. S someone got like six caps on Star on USC Wednesdays at one point. I can't remember who it was. But, uh, you know, maybe it's Holsey. He's been playing good enough tonight. That's for damn sure. He already has a hat trick. Uh, so our red team is gonna be Cap Got Your Tunge. Yeah, I misspelled tongue just a little bit. It's your tunge. It's gonna be, uh, Choxy, Spiller, and Sidewalk. I don't know who HK is. Let's see who HK is. Let's see if we can figure it out. Cap got your tongue. It's gonna be either. It's gonna be Helen Keller. Okay, that makes sense. Helen Keller, Chalksy, Sidewalk, and Spiller for Cap got your tongue. Certainly a very good team. And they are ranked number three. If they win this game, it will be a. Uh, they will take the championship title belt that Dallas Ballers Club literally just finished defending. So, uh. Not, not quite too, uh, not, no time to relax, I should say. No time to relax for the Dallas Ballers Club. No time to relax indeed. Ozern followed me. Thank you very much, Ozern. I missed that. That was from like a couple minutes ago, but thank you very much for following. I appreciate it very much. Chalksy might be able to make something happen here. He doesn't quite have the blocks though. I tell you what, Star's a toughie. Capping on Star is a tough nut to crack. Sorry if you guys are hearing any uh, any loud noises right now. My foot is entangled in my microphone cable. And true story, if you bump a microphone cable, it actually transmits through the microphone. 
That is a true story. Ballstar has got attack bro here, but nobody to use it with. Halsey's gonna be coming down shortly, but Spiller does have a rolling bomb. Uh, that actually worked out, I think, a little bit better maybe than Spiller even intended, but you know. Always nice when you have happy little accidents like that. Happy little accidents, not unlike Infinity. Yeah, da, ba, ba, da, ba. Knob Lord going through the top. Let's see if he can't make some magic happen. Uh, lots of of tunges, tunges here in base. That's what we'll call members of Cap. Got your tongue tunges. As Knob Lord is gonna have to work into the corner, and Helen Keller is playing the anti re on Holsey. So no re grab here for the Dallas Ballers Club. We are three minutes into this game, still tied 0-0 between Cap Got Your Tunja and Dallas Ballers Club. Here on Star, as expected, a lower scoring game on this classic defensive map. Business Bird is here, everybody. Business Bird is here, everybody. Everyone say hi to Business Bird. The greatest tag pro streamer of all time. Chalksy may be the greatest person to score first on star on February 25th on USC Wednesdays uh, but uh, so far he's not that person so far he does not qualify into that exclusive group Helen Keller might though Helen Keller is the only person with the flag right now 2v2 blocks can't quite change direction in time Chalksy does have the regrab though and good defense here in base from Cap Got Your Tunge, but the button control is going to cut Chalksy's re-grab flat. Cut Chalksy's re-grab flat, and we are going to be reset. Six minutes left on this half on Star. As uh, Helen Keller with a pretty rough grab, that probably wasn't going anywhere. Luke Moo grabbing a rolling bomb here on the lower right-hand side. We're going to see if he's actually going to use it. Uh, Sidewalk is going to have a... Uh, Sidewalk's going to have a tag pro. Let's see if he can't help Chalksy out. Luke Moo with a very nice move with a block from Knoblord. Chalksy has a tag pro lead he's deciding not to use, but that's okay. Sometimes we don't use everything we've got. Oh my goodness, the 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 noob spike. The noob spike from Chalksy. Is real. I have not heard the new Dan Deacon album, Business Bird. Not gonna lie, I don't know who that is. Maybe I am just too white. That's a distinct possibility, because I just don't know who that is. I don't know who that is? 10 out of 10 chasing from Dan to watch this come up. I don't even know what that 10 out of 10 chasing is. Oh, you guys, you guys always, like, it's so hard. It's so hard to deal with you guys reacting to the game because you guys are on like a 30 to 45 second delay depending on how Twitch's servers are feeling. So like I don't even know what you guys are talking about sometimes. I just pretend. Helen Keller coming through the top with a flag pro. Looks like it might be an easy walk into base and indeed Helen Keller and not Chalksy is the greatest player ever to score first on star on february 25th on usc wednesdays on tag pro tv among all of those many players helen keller is the greatest so good job helen keller good job helen keller the blind can now see guided by the flag and our and our great lord lucky spammer i don't know a little bit of tag pro circle jerk leaking. I'm sorry, I don't know where that came from. A little bit of our tag pro circle jerk coming around in here on tag pro TV. Holes, he gonna try and, and uh, yeah, I couldn't quite tie it up there. Good positioning from Helen Keller. Poor commentating from BBQ. Chalksy grabbing a tag pro here on the left hand side and Spiller with the tag with the tag pro. Double power ups for Cap Got Your Tunge. Very powerful here on Star and Spiller with a fantastic tag pro lead so far for Helen Keller. Uh, Helen Keller makes Halsey miss. He's got a block from Chalksy, and it's gonna be two to nothing here. Four, Cap, got your tunge. Looking to dethrone our current title belt champions. A two cap lead on star is not something to be trifled with. Not something to, uh, it's not something to take lightly. Two caps, decent margin there. On Star, a very difficult map to get any offense going on. Uh, 
as both teams have reset, doing a little bit of bumping balls, waiting for our power-ups to respawn. Holtzy does get out of base very nicely, not going to be able to get around the corner, but fakes everybody out. Spiller, nice on the button, and he's even going to be able to cut off Holtzy, not going to be fooling anybody, although Nobler does have the rolling re. Not going to be able to use the middle, going to be forced top, but he has some blocks, not quite. Not quite fluid around the top, and Chalksy with a very nice grab to buy time, saving a cap for his team. Still two to nothing. Poor Cap got your tonge playing very well on Star. For defense, probably not bad on Star. You probably will just get the full tie. I mean, let's be serious. Defense on this map, pretty easy, if I have to say so myself. Not the map for big flashy offensive maneuvers, but instead for a grind, a test of will, testament to the strength of these teams not getting frustrated that they have to play on fucking star. So true story guys, every single one of my maps in rotation has in some way or another been meant to replace star. Either as a straight up this map is built like Star, or uh, this map should play like Star but more fun. I I have disliked this map for a very long time. I just find it boring, I don't know about you guys. I like maps where you can have a little bit more fireworks going on. Star is not that map, it's not even like snipes, you know, there's not even a lot of defenses fireworks. Stop Jegs, glad, uh, HK is Helen Keller. Whirlwind, yeah, dude, whirlwind, whirlwind, yep, was supposed to be offensive star, as I miss a cap here from the Dallas Ballers Club. <laughs> Jeg's not, uh, Jeg's not happy about it. <laughs> Krowski <laughs> has it. Uh, yeah, that is going to be a cap, though, for the Dallas Ballers. Well, 40 seconds left as we get back into this game. I didn't even see it, to be honest, uh, so sorry about that. Going to be from Ballstar. One of my favorite plays. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, I haven't even been using the Telestrator. I'm just going to, you know, as as this game winds down, we're going to we're gonna sing the glorious chant of Star. Oh, hold on a second, because Holsey's got it. Okay, the, the glorious chant of Star. D... Defense. 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 Get that out of the way. Defense. Defense. Two to one here for Cap Got Your Tunge attempting to take the title belt away from Dallas Ballers Club. Will they be able to keep that lead and take the U.S. Contenders title? We will see in the second half. Here on USC Wednesdays on Tag Pro TV. Hold on to your seats. We will be right back with the second half of that game. Uh, I don't know if we're switching servers or not, to be perfectly honest. Uh, we are switching servers, so it's going to take us like a minute or so. Gonna take like a defense. Uh, a de <laughs> I'm looking at the defense right now. Oh my god. Uh, we got our group here. So we should uh, be getting into the second half as quickly as we possibly can. As quickly as we possibly can. Uh, did Mr. Gone give me, did I get the wrong, which, which group is the right group? This group is the right group. I was in the wrong group. In the wrong group, but we're good now. So, uh, just getting everybody settled here. We have the entirety. This is another situation where we have the entirety of one team and nobody from the other. We have the entirety of Cap Got Your Tunge. They're all ready to go. Gonna be exquisite subbing in here for Chalksy on our new server. Understandable. And, uh, I don't know what the deal is with Dallas Ballers Club because Nobler is the only person in right now. So, uh, so that's where we stand. And it's perfect. See, now Infinity is giving me shit for nursing my beer. It's like halfway done my beer, and we're like halfway done the broadcast because we're halfway through the second game. This is, I think of everything. I think of everything, guys. I 
think of everything. I'm gonna need some actual water though. Voice getting a little sore. Now live on Tech Bro TV, you watch BBQ drink things. All right, so um, we have Eagles in for the Dallas Ballers Club. I'm assuming this is just a server-based one. Uh, Holsey is waiting in the group, but not moving in. I'm not quite sure what the deal is here for the Dallas Ballers Club. Once again, thank you for waiting. As there's really nothing I can do about this. My score right? Yeah, my score is right. I want to make sure I had that right on stream. Uh, so, all right. So we have Eagles substituting in for Hosey, actually, for the uh, for the Dallas Ballers Club. Exquisite subbing in for Chuxy for uh, for Cap Got Your Tunge. Should be getting into this game momentarily. As everybody is in position. Uh, so we'll be getting to the, to the second half. Uh, Kep got your tunge up 2-1. to one. Once again, remind you guys, since we had such a close game last time, and this game is close. A tie goes to Dallas Ballers Club. Uh, Cap got your tunge need to win. So they have zero. They have no insurance caps right now. They have, they have no padding. They need to keep this lead that they have right now. And I don't, I don't know who's home. I think this is actually Cap Got Your Tunge's home server. I think. I think this is Cap Got Your Tunge's home server. Not entirely sure, but I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Three, two, one. All right. So it's going to be a tag pro for Helen Keller. Rolling bomb for a knob lord here. On Star as Noblord gets around the back very well done by Noblord and he's gonna be out with a grab. Helen Keller with a flag pro letting Exquisite wait on the re-grab, but uh nobody getting around that. Man, those top points are just so hard. So hard. It's not sphere, not sphere. Uh, Ballstar going to uh, get somebody to spike themselves there. Let's see if he can't tie this game up for the Dallas Ballers Club Exquisite and Spiller chasing him out as Noblord going to be getting the re-grab. Nice job by Sidewalk. Nice anticipation from Sidewalk. It didn't look like much, but uh, being in that good of position is uh, yeah, it's pretty good anticipation there. Good positioning from Sidewalk. Evidently, this is neither team's home server. And I don't think it's Dallas Ballers Club's home server, because I don't think we played on this server last match, so I am just totally confused. I mean, it's, you know, it's a server. It's all good. Noblord going to have a tag pro lead. This looks promising for Dallas Ballers Club once again, even though I've said it many times this cast. That tie does put the, uh, the Dallas Ballers Club in the driver's seat right now for the title belt. And uh, if the score holds, that'll be two title-maintaining uh, title caps in one night uh, for Noblord. So really good job from him so far on, on this evening. Smiles Power, I do love your name. I love your username ever so much. Fantastic name. I like all the smiles per hour. As many smiles per hour as I can make. Nobbler gets around the <laughs> gets a block even from Eagles. Oh my god. That Nobbler had some ridiculous caps last week. Yet another one, and he's going to put the Dallas Ballers Club in the lead. Oh my goodness. Woo! Woo! My goodness, Dad steps the spoilers! <laughs> uh, Helen Keller is going to get the grab for Cap Got Your Tunge around the corner. Going to need a good block from Exquisite, and unfortunately that uh, that boosts Mon. Because the, the block was there. Block was there. There was some space, but the, uh, the troll... The troll boost right here. 
I like, like to see. Let's uh, let's let's follow Ballstar. Oh yeah, see how it's colored now? Isn't that shit awesome? Look at that! Look at that colored one! Look at that colored path! Oh man, and look, it's blue on the other side. I suppose it's about to die. Oh, maybe not. Look at that! Look at that blue path! It's amazing. I'm just gonna keep making. Look at this telus. Oh, that's not who I want to see. Oh my goodness. Telestrator. So much fun. Oh. Yeah, uh, that's not what we want. No, I'm just. This is this is not BBQ streams US contenders. This is BBQ plays with this telestrator. Uh, so as we follow now, these are supposed to be uh, translucent. I'm not quite sure why they're so thick. They're supposed to be translucent, so I will have to fix that bug. But you know, until then, we'll see how both of these guys are doing. Nice job by Ballstar getting out of trouble. By the way, uh, Ballstar even getting around the top there. Oh my goodness. Let's see, uh, let's just follow Ballstar. He's playing. Oh. <laughs> He's playing very well, but uh, both both players are now done. Oh god, I thought it wasn't clearing for a second. I double clicked and nothing happened. Oh, okay, no more, no more shenanigans except for this one and this one and this one and this one. And this one. Okay, no more shenanigans with the Telestrator. We got a game to watch. It is four to two here for the Dallas Ballers Club, taking a very nice lead in this game. Uh, looks like we're we got a timeout here though, so we'll be coming back here. Dallas Ballers Club already with three caps in this game. Three caps in this game to break out a 4-2 to two lead. And uh, and so now we have a basically three cap deficit for Cap Got Your Tunge. Uh, cap Got Your Tunge. I should respell that. I technically misspelled that. Technically, it's Cap Got Your Tunge. Let's, let's get it right. There we go. That's how you do it. Cap Got Your Tunge. Uh, they've got some work to do now as Dallas Ballers Club have heated up. Uh, they are quickly establishing themselves. They're a new team, and they are quickly establishing themselves as the team to beat in U.S. contenders. In the United States contenders scene. Don't know if EU contenders is still active, but, uh, you know, if not, I guess that'll put Dallas Ballers Club as the best contenders team right now. Might have to see, uh, might have to see Original Sign come back to challenge them, man. They have been playing exceptionally well the last couple of weeks here on Tag Pro TV. Been really enjoying watching them. Uh, something's going on with Luke Moo, so we're going to be waiting just a second. I am evidently wrong. I thought Dallas Ballers Club was fairly new, but evidently they are not. Also Oceanic Contenders, but you know, please, come at me Aussies, come at me, come at me, I give you only a plus. Send a kangaroo at me, see what happens. Send a kangaroo at me, send me a giant Australia gonna kill you wildlife monster thing. Come at me, I will kill it with American freedom and the power of capitalism that's right I wield it I wield it in red white and blue the power of the stars and stripes behind each and every strike of my freedom loving fist they call me they call me Captain BBQ Defender of all things freedom. Really? They've been around since March? Oh my god, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> no, they will not kill me, business bird. I wield the power of the United States of America. Mur the United States of America! That's what I get. Looks like we're just about ready to get back into this game. Thank you, everybody, for your patience. We've had uh, not nearly as smooth of a stream as we had last time. Last time we were just in just like right in a row like everything on time, but some delays tonight. That's okay Delays are perfectly fine sometimes We have loaded the game up though, so let's uh let's hop back into star and see what's going on Hop back into star and see what's going on Gonna be two juke juices here for our power-ups as we get back going with six minutes left in this title belt fight between the Dallas Ballers Club 
and Cap got ya tons. Squizzit with a nice grab coming out right now for uh, for Cap got ya tons, but not quite gonna be able to make it happen as Noplord gets the grab here for Dallas Ballers Club. Helen Kelly with the re-grab for Cap got ya tons. Feeling a little bit quiet. Feeling a little bit calm right now, you know? We get a nice little kiss from Helen Kelly and Ballstar. A little bit of love between these two teams. I've been, uh, I have not been practicing good voice quality as Luke Moo could get a cap, but good job from, uh, a good job from the cap got ya tons to, uh, to keep that cap from happening. Yeah, I've been speaking out of my head voice, out of my throat. I really should be speaking out of my chest like this. Much healthier, especially when you're solo casting, you know? Always getting a little sore, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make things we're gonna take it low. We're gonna we're gonna take things slow here on Tag Pro TV. We aren't always a mile a minute. Exquisite holding holding the flag, trying to get through the middle. Works his way through the gate, although Eagles always has the right position, if you know what I mean. No re-grabs for either team. They're taking it nice and slow. <laughs> no, you, you don't like my 70s sultry voice, Jags? You don't like my Isaac Hayes voice? <laughs> Noblewood looks like he has a decent chance. Good grab from Exquisite. Nice job buying his team just that extra little bit of time and not giving up another cap. Honestly, three caps probably would have been disaster. <laughs> would have been disaster for Cap Got Your Tonge. Two caps already a lot, and uh, Ballstar looking to make it three. Helen Keller with the grab for Cap Got Your Tonge, trying to make sure that that doesn't quite happen. See, Smalls Power gets it. Smalls Power gets it. He knows. Noblord may get up around the top. Fake sidewalk out. Very nice job from Noblord. Gotta say, that's pretty tough to do. But gets a noob spiked here in the corner. Luke Moo coming through the top and gets a spike from the other team. This is gonna be potentially a big moment for Dallas Ballers Club. Not gonna happen. Noblord gets around sidewalk though. Making his way through the middle. Avoids the noob spike. And Helen Keller! What? <laughs> the pixel perfect juke. Around the spike! Oh my God! Noblord making it five to two here on Tag Pro TV. Oh my God! Oh my God! We get there fast and then we take it slow. That's where we want to go to get on Tag Pro TV. Nice job, Abology. Nice job. Sorry. Glad to hear it. And now Ball Star is gonna make it at six to two. And this game is turning into a dump. Oh my goodness, Cap got your tonge. They, they are self-destructing before our eyes. Helen Keller unable to make anything happen. Only two minutes to go and all of a sudden a 6-2 lead has, in, has erupted, I should say, for the Dallas Ballers Club. The statement that we are not to be fucked with if you give any fucks, they shall not go to us, for we have nothing to do with them. We take all your fucks and disregard them, for we are the Dallas Bowers Club, and we are the greatest contenders team in all the land. We pixel juke the rest of them with the greatest of ease. We allow Exquisite to get a cap out of the kindness of our hearts. But Cap Got Your Tonge shall not be exempt from our wrath. Five caps and one half on star, because we can do that however we shall so please, whenever we shall so desire. For we are Dallas Ballers Club and we give none of your fucks. Exquisite though with two caps right in a row. Like, it's only two, it's only six to four now. Like, I still don't think Cap Got Your Tonge got it, but you know. Six to four! Helen Keller! Gonna hand off to Exquisite. He's gonna try and get a uh, a hat trick right now, but nobody's in position to take care of Noblord. No one, no one's in position to take care of all the what? Oh, BBQ, what are you doing? I know, man. 
I know, man. Just having some fun. Having some fun with this game. 41 seconds left. Still a two-cap lead for Dallas Ballers Club, who look like they are going to successfully defend their title twice in, an, in the span of an hour and 15 minutes or so. Exquisite going to try and get the fifth cap. Hold your horses. Wait a second. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I mean, a tie doesn't matter, but like, wait a minute. Cap got you tunge. Like, I think Dallas Ballers Club just let their feet off the pedal or something, although Ballstar may have a cap here. Probably not. Gonna be six to five at the end of the day, but like, Cap got your tunge at least made it a little bit interesting at the end. My god. You never notice this map is a star, Thomas 8A. I'm glad I was able to blow your mind. Actually, it took me a while to figure that out, too. Like, I, it took me a really long time to realize, to figure out how exactly star is a star. Oh my god, I, oh my, oh my god. Oh my god, what am I doing? So, GG from both teams. Once again, Dallas Ballers Club able to defend their title. This time against Cap Got Your Tunge, defeating the number two and number three teams summarily. But it looks close. Uh, you know, this is one of those where it wasn't as close as uh, as the score says it was. Is some, you know, garbage time scores from Exquisite. Good for him. But, uh, no. For the most part, this was... Uh, you know, I can't even say that because Cat Got Your Tunge won the first half. But Dallas Ballers Club just absolutely wrecking house in the second half. So, we will be right back once again. We're going to have to entirely switch groups this time. We're just in the same group we were in last time, which meant that we were able to switch very quickly. Going to be just a second here. So, bear with me. We're going to be switching to our Sphere Showdown. This is for the top Sphere team. So if you are Sphere Master Ace, get that hype on. It's going to be Spherious Business against the Sphere Mongers on Constriction. We haven't cast a game. I don't think I've ever actually cast a game on Constriction, so this will be fun for me. Um, I don't exactly know who the rosters are on this team. Let's see. Spherious Business has... Uh, Spherious Business has Huevo, Jackals... Uh, no, those are there. Hold on. I'm all the, what am I doing? What am I even doing? Oh my goodness. Okay, Spherious Business has, uh... Let me see here. Ignatius, Subglacius, Kanye's Maid, Quib, Huevo, and Jackals. Sphermongers have O oh, Snap, Legion of Boom, Port, Koala, Chill Out, MasterCard78, one of the great animators of Tag Pro, who's made some fantastic content. And that cap. So if you guys want to stick around for just a little bit more fun, and I know you do... Stick around right here. We'll be right back here on Tag Pro TV with Spherious Business versus the Sphermongers for the title of Best Sphere Team in U.S. Contenders. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Tag Pro TV.
All right, we are back here on Tag Pro TV. Let me do my root, my tree post once again. Watch the battle for the title of greatest sphere team in USC only on Tag Pro TV. It's Sphere Mongers versus uh, who is the other team? Spurious Business, that's what they're called. Spurious Business. And we put the link in HTTP www.twitch.tv slash tag pro TV. Indeed, tag pro TV itself. Link that shit. Send it recursively to sub channels. Uh, no logos, uh, no logos here. So, uh, for the Sphere Mongers, it's gonna be Legion of Boom Koala, O Snap, and Dat Cap. That is the Sphere Mongers. Spherious Business will be Ignatius, Quip, Jackals, Bat, and Sub Glacius. Yes, I misspelled sphere. It's okay. I misspelled sphere. It's okay. It happens. Uh, we are at this point. Um, this point, just waiting for the game to start. Everybody is ready and in their positions. Gonna be on constriction. Should be very, very fun indeed. As the sphere mongers will be our blue team. Serious business are a red team. Uh, I can't say too much. I haven't seen either of these two teams play. Um, now, Spherious business is the uh, or sphere mongers are the favorite here at number thirteen compared to number eighteen for Spherious business. Uh, looks like the Sphere Mongers record is uh, five, two, and one tie. Spherious business, business, however, despite being the um, the underdogs, are eight and one. So they're the underdogs, our red team, but have the better record by a fair margin. What am I drinking there? BBQ says metal for breakfast. I am drinking a Southern Tier Two X Stout. I will show it to you quickly before getting into this game. A Southern Tier 2X Milk Stout available year-round. Three, two, oh, geez. One. Whoops, hey, we're, we're all good. We, uh, we got this all settled in, so we're going to be on Constriction. Never seen any competitive play on Constriction, to be perfectly honest. Uh, the deal with Constriction is that you can kind of make a run almost all the time. However, the entrance into base is very small, but oh my goodness, Furious Business making a statement. Already one to nothing, not even 30 seconds into this game. My goodness, but Koala does get out of base. Koala, one of my favorite community members, making all sorts of 3D printed Tag Pro goodies, but misses the boost. Uh, needs a block from that Cap, who misses it. Legion of Boom does get it, however, and Koala is going to tie this game up. Very fast-paced action, especially compared to what we saw last time. Hello there, Break TV. Thank you for joining me. Thank you to all the new people who are watching these Sphere Showdown, all the new viewers. I appreciate your time. I appreciate that you have chosen to watch Tag Pro TV tonight. I hope you enjoy yourself as Sub Glacius gets underneath Koala. Gonna be two to nothing, or two to one, I should say. Uh, for Spurious Business, Quib going to try and make something happen as well, but Dat Cap's got a Tag Pro lead. Double Tag Pro, actually, for the Sphere Mongers. Let's see if Dat Cap can actually make anything happen with it. Jackals is gonna try and get around Koala. Koala, uh, I'm interested in Jackals right now. Uh, does manage to give himself some space around Koala, and uh, Koala going to be forced behind. Jackals uh, sitting there in the... Oh, fantastic play from Jackals. Isn't that bomb to get out? Oh my goodness, even splitting Legion of Boom and Koala. However, Oh Snap does have the regrab, and Jackals going to be forced to retreat. 
not really anything going on for Jackals, but running circles very nicely. Oh snap, it does have a decent chance, but once again, missing this, uh, missing this wall area right here. I love these little knobs. I've actually used them in a couple different maps. These little nubs right here, where you can kind of take this boost this way, or you can take the boost this way. And it's really, it's a really good differentiator of skill, having the ability to make very precise boosts like that in uh, time. However, before we say that, oh snap ties this game up. It's two to two here on Constriction. We're seeing all kinds of fast paced action. Let's see what Legion of Boom can do. Surrounded. Surrounded by Sphere Monger. It doesn't look like he's going to be able to do anything indeed. Uh, sorry, by Spherious Businessmen. The Sphere Mongers are Koala's team. Yes, we are not on Star anymore. We are on Constriction by Rapture. I actually like this map a lot more than most. Oh, look, I can't highlight this. <laughs> Um, I actually like this map. I like this map a lot more than a lot of people. I love the inside part of this map. Like, if you... I like the idea of the base. I think it needs to be a little better. But, like, everything in here... I really like this part of the map. I'm a fan of it. I think it's fun. You get to have a lot of forward motion. It's very fast, even though you might not necessarily see... You might not necessarily always get that cap. You're always moving. You get that sense of speed, and oh, snap! Takes the lead here. For the uh, for the sphere mongers, and it looks like Legion of Boom's gonna have a chance to make it four to two here for our favorite team, with the worst record. Remember, their record is worse, but they are the favorites, just due to the ladder system of U.S. Contenders. If you want more information on U.S. Contenders, you can of course visit our U.S. Contenders on Reddit, which is where U.S. Contenders is put together, and uh, find out all about it. Find some friends, put together a U.S. Contenders team of your own. It's super fun, super relaxed version of ca of competitive play. I really, really like it. I don't know of any other games that have anything like the contender system that we have here. Uh, one of my favorite parts of the Tag Pro community, and I do love supporting it in the best way that I can. Koala kind of wasted a rolling bomb there, getting back on defense. Um, but, you know, if she's on defense, I guess that's not that big of a deal. Um... I guess you can make some argument that she should have gone on offense, especially, this is such a tiny base though, I, I feel like it's really easy to get double tapped when you try and grab with a rolling bomb. Not, not the easiest of bases to work around, although some very fun boosts to, uh, to make things happen. Jackals with the grab here for the Spurious Businessman, not going to happen, but Legion of Boom is across the halfway point here for the Sphere Mongers, who are up 3-2 to two already. Legion of Boom trying to get that insurance cap here uh, for the challenge. It is not the tie rule, does not just, uh, what degree are normal USC <laughs> Well, plus... Also, the, uh, the answer is it doesn't matter. It is an entire ladder system. So, the answer is, U.S. Contenders players range the entire gamut of degrees. Um, there, there, there's a whole ladder system. So, if you have... Uh, sorry, hold on a second. A subglacious might be able to take this, this uh, tie this game up here, 3-3. Three to three. If you have a whole team of, you know, lower degree players, you'll be matched with lower teams. And that's totally fine, and you can learn. And just have a good time and not worry about official things like MLTP. Like, it's not anywhere near as serious as as MLTP super relaxed I will guarantee you will have a good time if you join US contenders guaranteed you will have a good time Subglacier is gonna try and take the lead here for Spurious Businessman Koala and O-Snap caught on the wrong side look at those blocks fantastic grab by O-Snap though saving the cap they had him pinned against this block by the way the thing I do like about this base is this block right here like that one block causes so much trouble and havoc like it makes such a huge difference imagine if that block wasn't there this would be such a huge open base that's why i wish this base was just a little bit bigger but still had that block man that that one wall is like fucking innovative like you have no idea as a map maker that block i just i love it and you saw that they're they're able to get double blocks pinning pinning the offensive defense against that wall let the offense come the other way around just unfortunately a very good play from offensive defense to get the grab 
Uh, now here is a fantastic chance for Subglacius. I think he's gonna get it. That deserves a VBQ zoom. It's gonna be four to three now. The Furious Businessman taking the lead in this game with three minutes left in the first half here on Constriction. You're watching USC Wednesdays on Tag Pro TV. Koala gonna try and make something happen here for the Sphere Mongers, our blue team. They are the challenge. The challengers are the Sphere's businessman number 18, and the number 13 ranked Sphere Mongers in blue. Subglacia is going to try and make another cap here. He's got a flag pro. Doesn't matter. He doesn't need that tag pro from his teammates. Is that a is that a hat trick for him yet? Indeed. Oh my God. How did I not recognize that? Five captures. For Subglacius, every single capture from Subglacius, the absolute MVP so far for these furious businessmen. A sixth cap coming in from Jackals, and this game getting blown wide open here by the furious businessmen here. They've had some investments paid off. They've got a new customer base, and the Sphermongers don't scare them at all. They are not afraid. Legion of Boom trying to make a statement here. Not quite going to happen. Still 6-3 to three for the Sphermongers, who do have some offensive momentum right now. Oh, snap, making some moves. Oh, the split from Oh, snap is magnificent. But Ign Ignitious getting that snipe from behind. Legion of Boom still has something to say here, though. This game is far from over. All kinds of action here. Really nice to see after a couple... For the most part, defensive games. Legion of Boom with a great precision boost. And we'll see if he can't get into the flag here. Let's follow him with our trace. See if he can't make it around using a bomb. It's 3-2 to two in Bay. It's going to be hard to get those blocks. Can't quite make it happen. Oh, snap. Going to be making... Uh, trying to make something happen. Can't quite work. Can't... Quite, uh, can't quite make it work. Uh, Tantru came in for a second. I was about to say hi, but then he didn't. Oh, well. Subglacia's looking to get his sixth cap right now, and he's gonna... Oh, Jesus, Subglacia's. Yeah, wear that party hat with pride, dude. You should be partying right now the way you're playing. Subglacia's putting on an absolute display so far here on Tag Pro TV. Jackal's trying to make something happen as well. Is this going to be the second cap for him? Uh, indeed, it looks like it will be if he can make it. He's got a rolling bomb, which is going to make things very nice. However, lots of offensive defenders, lots of sphere mongers in base, making things difficult. Legion of Boom going to get that grab out with a flag pro, and a good boost is going to keep him safe for now. Sub like, really conservative play here from Subglacius and Quib. you got to have somebody be the aggressor, you know? Someone's got to wear the pants in this defensive relationship, and nobody was wearing them for right now. Got to have somebody wearing the pants. Good job by Legion of Boom getting around that corner. He's going to make a move around some glacious. Not going to have time to get to the flag anyways. It is going to be 7-3. to three. The Spurious Businessmen making waves, making a statement here on, uh, on Constriction in the first half. We'll see if the Sphermongers, who are the favorites for this game, we'll see if the Sphermongers can't make something happen. I, I say, I say the favorites. I'm, I'm messing. There we go. I say the favorites. Spherious businessmen have a much better record, but they are challenging. They're ranked five behind the Sphermongers, but we could be seeing the ascension of a new top U.S. contenders team here in Spherious Business, playing very well. I actually, I'm gonna, not gonna lie, I haven't heard of any of these players. I have not heard of any of these players here on Spurious Business, so I'm kind of excited to see new players popping up. New names, new teams, new plays to be made. Uh, we don't have to switch groups, by the way, so it's going to be a very, very short halftime. Iggy's DOP. I honestly was not looking at the defense, but I'll keep an eye on Ignatius for you, Jag Panther. As he was watching the defense from Ignatius. See, now this beer is looking a little bit too full for me right now. Let's, uh, let's do something about this. Mm. Just delicious. I think I liked the porter better. I think I liked Bell's porter last week better. The uh, the sweets definitely interesting with all the toasty 
uh, all the toasty stout flavor. Definitely bolder than the porter from last week. We're loading into this game right now. Still on construction, we're just switching halves here. So we load into this game. Going to be uh, one of each power up here on Constriction. Going to be a Juke Juice for our Sphere Mongers in red. Tag Pro for our Spherious Businessmen in blue. Getting the t power up advantage right here in the beginning. Ignatius is uh, doing a really cool move. I really like what Ignatius is doing. Playing forward with his Tag Pro. Keeping O Snap and Legion of Boom from even getting into the base. Using the choke points in Constriction to his advantage. I like that move from Ignatius. I've never quite seen that move. I've never quite seen that strategy so like so obviously played out. Uh, I, I like that. I like that. Good thought here from Ignatius. That's fun. A drink for every cap metal. Are you trying to kill me, dude? I'm a lightweight. Now, if you had watched the first ever USC Wednesdays, we were getting DDoSed, and I took a shot for every time we... Uh, every time we disconnected that was interesting that was interesting we'll call it interesting that was very interesting I was a very interesting person that night <laughs> I am I am a lightweight though for sure you can probably tell by how I look now Legion of Boom trying to make something happen here for Spirit's business the uh, the the group leader oh my god how do they not get a cap there group leader not changing the score here so let me uh let me let me get this uh let me try and get the score up here since it wasn't it wasn't changed. Let me get the first half score in here. Uh, it's just not showing up. Very strange indeed. Don't know what's going on, but we won't worry about it, that's okay. I want to I wanna get the score in here, man. I want to get the score in here for everybody. But, uh... Doesn't it appear to like it. So, whatever, we won't have it. That's fine. The score is 4-7 to seven total right now in favor of these series businessmen. 7-3. to three. So a uh, much slower paced game here uh, as we get into the second half. Legion of Boom can't quite make anything happen. I'm just going to see what O-Snap can do and find lots of interesting lines I would imagine here on Constriction. It's really meant a uh, map meant to find those lines. Such a nice, you know, a nice little flow here. I really do like this map aesthetically as our defense is holding much stronger than they did last time. Uh, that's actually, that's a pretty good testament. Like, grabbing on this map is not the most difficult thing in the world, I've got to say. The defense in this map normally comes on offensive defense, not in, in, in base defense itself. Sub, I don't want to follow Qual, I want to follow Subglacius, he was being ridiculous. Let's see what he can do. He already had six caps last time, I believe. Let's see what, uh, Subglacius not quite able to get the cap going on. The Legion of Boom's gonna get away from everybody! Oh! Caught off by Ignatius indeed, Jack D. Panther. Ignatius playing some fantastic defense at the moment. Six and a half minutes remaining. It is seven to four for the Spherious Businessmen looking to take over. Looking to uh, to win their challenge against the higher rated Sphere mongers of Koala Dat Cap O Snap and Legion of Boom. The Sphere mongers are red team. Serious business are blue team playing here on Constriction. Quavo, who has got a very fun name, not quite able to make that cap. That's another. I, just, I love that about angle tiles, man. I love the skill boost you can make with the angle tiles, right? Like the tiny difference between this boost and this boost. Fantastic. Fantastic. <coughs> Quavo trying to make something happen here for the Spurious Businessmen. They already have a three-cap lead. This could be four. We've got blocks. Dat Cap shedding them once, but not twice. It's going to be 
eight to four now. Eight to four here for our uh, for our game for our total match, I should say. Still trying to get that to work. I'm not quite sure why that text doesn't work. It's been very strange. OBS plus. 8 to 4, our score. 4 cap lead here for the Furious Businessman halfway through the second half. Gonna need to be some big plays here coming out of the Sphere Mongers. They're gonna need to resort to some terrorist actions to slow down the revenue of the Furious Businessman. Running out of energy a little bit here, guys. It's a little strange for me, not gonna lie. I'm not quite sure what to feel about this, that I'm running out of energy. Subglacius with a great boost through three different defenders. He is playing absolutely fantastically, but Legion of Boom with a great uh, last second grab to save the cap from Subglacius. Gonna be able to get the kiss. He's trying for it. He's trying for it. Subglacius does find a boost, and Legion of Boom gonna be forced to just go and run. No kiss for him. Subglacius trying to uh, lay the moves down on Dat Cap using those little islands. Uh, pretty effectively so far. Oh snap does get around into the channel. Um, Koala just joined Just joined my room. I'm not sure what the deal is. Oh, I'm in the Sphere room I'm not sure why I'm in the Sphere room, but I'm in the Sphere room. That's why I'm seeing people join. Very very strange Subglacius once again denied at the last second. How much hold does Subglacius have? How much hold does some glaciers have? He's got a minute 48 of hold. Ridiculous. Ridiculous! I say ridiculous. Good snipe here from Legion of Boom. Three and a half minutes left, a much slower paced half. We're... We're taking it slow, as we did on Star. Nice and slow. No need to go fast, girl. We're taking it slow. Yeah. And that's enough 70s soul singer rapist to BBQ for the night, I think. Subglacius still adding to his ridiculous total of hold right now. Gonna try and get around the offensive defense. Poost gonna knock Subglacius out. Quavo with the regrab here for the Furious Businessman. Gets a block by Subglacius, but now he's gonna have to juke out Legion of Boom. Three versus three on the blocks in base, but Subglacius just going for the re-grab as Koala manages to uh, to get the return. Tag Pro here for Legion of Boom is gonna help open up a grab for uh, for oh snap for the Sphere Mongers here, and they need it. They've got four casts to make up in only two and a half minutes. This could be the start of it, but that tag pro from Subglacius is gonna be difficult to deal with. Not gonna happen as Legion of Boom gets the re-grab, so does Huevo, and he is out free ahead of everybody. Taking all kinds of time up. Yeah, dude, so Glacius is very good with the flag, Ethorn. Legion of Boom gonna try and make something happen now. He's got Ignitius to beat first, who's been playing all right as well. So Glacius holding once again for this Furious Businessman and just ahead of Koala. Fantastic job not getting popped right there. Very well done. Legion of Boom not doing poorly, although he does finally get caught. Oh, snap. Has. A nice crisp regrab here for the Sphere Mongers, making a nice little cut move on Huevo. Gonna have two blockers on two defenders. Let's see if O Snap can't make anything happen here. He's got a boost around the corner. Huevo doing a nice job cutting it off, and O Snap now faces the entirety of the Sphere's businessmen to get past. Just gonna give it up. Let Legion of Boom have that regrab. Ignitius just over committing a little bit. Uh, I don't know if that was lag into the spike or what. Very disappointing uh, spike there. I think that was Ostap or Jack Cap. I, uh, I I forget the names of people all the time. I'll see it and I'll just forget it two seconds later. I don't know what goes on with me, man. Got some problems. Got some problems. Could grab here from Legion of Boom on the right hand side. Makes a nice move, but Ignitious. Good job staying with Legion of Boom. It looked like he might have been beat for a second, but he managed to stay in front. And eventually going to be cleaned up by Kanye is the flag carrier. But, oh, Snap gets through the middle and not going to spike himself this time. But Legion of Boom gets in the way. Some communication issues surfacing here for the Sphere Mongers, who are not going to be able to defend their position. Only 30 seconds left here. It is an 8-4 to four game. 
for the Spurious Businessmen. This is going to move them to 9-1, and one, by the way. An up-and-coming team are the Spurious Businessmen making some big runs here. Making some absolutely huge runs up the ladder. I'm honestly not sure how they aren't ranked higher with that record, but maybe they've just been playing low-ranked teams. Not really sure what the deal is. Oh my god, that cap! Using the wall, the sexy wall split from that cap. Far too little, far too late for the sphere mongers. It's going to be an 8 to 4 win, but at least they have the consolation of that cap. That's going to be the end of US contenders on Tag Pro TV. An 8 to 4 win for these furious businessmen taking out. Taking out the Sphere Mongers and taking the title of Best Sphere Team in U.S. Contenders. All right. Before anything else, let's finish our beer. Mm. All right. Thank you very much for watching Wednesday Night Contenders here on Tag Pro TV. Some fun games for the most part. Last one was a little bit of a stomp, kind of like a, okay, fine, whatever. First game was really great, down to the wire between number one and number two teams. Some great plays on Star as well, and you know what? I'm excited to see more competitive constriction. That was a nice, fun, fast-paced, lots of nice little moves here. I am BBQ Chicken. If you have not already, please press that follow button underneath the stream so you know when I go live. I, uh, I was off for my birthday. Last week, I am 25 years old. Happy birthday to me. 25 years old. A quarter of a century of chicken has now been present in this world. But I will be streaming next Sunday. I will be back and better than ever. So uh, make sure to keep an eye out for Major League Tag Pro on Tag Pro TV. Streaming Sundays, as always. I uh, don't think there's going to be Tag Pro for breakfast going on. Don't think there's going to be Tag Pro for Breakfast going on. At least uh, I don't have anything planned, but you never know. And if I'm going to do an impromptu stream, the only way you know I'm going live is if you follow me. Anyways, that's pretty much all my plans for this week. Um, if you also want, you can follow twitch.tv slash bbqchicken with three N's. Every now and again, I'll stream non-Tag Pro games there. Prismata, uh, sometimes Awesome Knots with Tag Pro friends. Uh, a couple games here and there. It's, it's not that active, but you can follow it if you want to. It'd be nice. Uh, thank you for watching Wednesday Night U.S. Contenders. I'm BBQ Chicken. You have been watching Tag Pro TV. And until next time, hold on to them balls. Santra's mom has got a rolling bomb. 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 Santra, can I come over after scrim? After scrim. We can hang around in oh 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 at them. Did your mom get back from going oh? Going oh. Did she cap or is she trying to break some a a a ankles? Break some ankles. You know I'm not the little scrub that I used to be. I'm all powered up now, baby. Can't you see? Ten shoes, mom has got my Ooh. team's flag. She's uh, all I yeah. want. Whoops. Can't you, can't you see? You're just not the ball for me. I know it might be wrong, but I will return to his mom.